Let's be honest, the AMS system is pretty awesome. It achieves mostly seamless multicolored printing, which has been a pretty hard thing to accomplish up until recent years. But I don't even use it for multicolored printing. In fact, I probably never will. I use it for its auto refill feature that loads in the next spool when the previous one runs out. I specifically use it for these skulls where I often have small amounts of filament left over from each print, which would otherwise be wasted or turn into hours of filament splicing pain and suffering. And for prints like this, the outside finish is extremely important. One large pockmark can ruin the entire print, and unfortunately, that's where the auto refill feature seems to fall short. Let me show you why. If you use the AMS to print multicolored objects, then you have probably never even had this issue before. This is because you print with a prime tower. The prime tower is there to prime the nozzle and get it ready to resume printing. Every time it does a pre-planned color change, the prime tower catches that annoying ooze that is otherwise left to stick to the print. It also stabilizes the pressure inside the nozzle, so when it resumes on the print, you don't have any issues with over or under extrusion. Here you can see that the prime tower has absorbed the extrusion issue. So instead of occurring on the print and ruining it like it did on my skull, the tower did exactly what it was supposed to do and kept the print looking flawless. However, when it comes to the auto refill function, because it doesn't have any planned swaps, as it happens completely at random whenever the spool runs out of filament, there is no prime tower to remove blobs or regulate pressure inside the nozzle, as it primes itself mid-air. So this means if you run out of filament on an outside Side wall, the printer will then resume on that same wall along with a lovely blob and non-pressurized nozzle. And if you're using four spools for this, then you're rolling the dice four times as to whether or not the swap will land on a wall and ruin the print. Now there is a way to force a prime tower when using the auto refill function by enabling smooth time lapse, but this doesn't really fix the problem as you're still relying off luck as to where the swap will occur. Now you can kind of trick the slicer into thinking you're using multiple colors when you're only using one and planning out your filament swaps, but this kind of defeats the purpose of an auto refill as it is no longer, well, automatic. <laughs> and it means your spools will still have filament left on them afterwards, meaning you still have to store them and they'll just continue to take up space. And yes, even if you have the flow dynamics and flow rate dialed in or any other type of setting to stop this from happening, I feel like these settings are wasted if you don't have any way to prime the nozzle properly before resuming the print. Here is a print with all of my settings dialed in pretty well, using dry filament from the same brand, the same color, and even the same batch number. But when you spin it around to the exact place the printer performed the auto refill, you can see this lovely blob and noticeable layer shift. However, when I print the same thing, but with a prime tower, the problem is mostly gone. And interestingly enough, if the auto refill begins inside the print on the infill, it's like it never even happened. But as it stands, when using the auto refill function, there is currently no way to force the print to resume on the infill, and there's also no way to force it to resume on a prime tower, both of which would completely solve the problem. I've been wrapping my head around in circles for days trying to come up with a solution to this and the only real thing I figured out is something that Bamboo would have to implement. Now I'm pretty sure that the AMS already has the hardware that is needed to make this work. What I don't have is the ability to modify any of the firmware. So Bamboo Lab, if you're watching this, here is a solution that I think could work, maybe? Uh, we'll see. So you're gonna need to make a new setting that allows auto refill to print with a prime tower. Here's how it's gonna work. When the filament runs out at the AMS, the filament detection sensor is triggered and it tells the printer to finish the current layer. And because you still have all this filament still left in the Bowden tubes, it should be more than enough to finish one layer on basically any type of print. Once that layer is complete, the printer then parks the tool head over the chute and extrudes any remaining filament. Now, depending on how much is left will depend on how long this will take. I understand that this process needs to be as fast as possible to ensure that the print doesn't cool down too much, so you could always crank up the flushing volume to the max while performing a wipe every five seconds to avoid too much buildup in the chute. Once this is done, the new filament is loaded and once it's ready, it moves over to the prime tower, does its thing, captures that blob, then resumes on the print with perfect results hopefully every time. Now I've left this info on the Bamboo Lab GitHub. If you have any ideas yourself, please feel free to leave them there or in the comments below. 
I am super excited to hear if you guys have any solutions to this. And yes, I do realize the Infinity Flow S1 exists, but they don't ship to Australia and I have no idea when they will. So this is what I just have to work with. However, as I nearly finished editing this video, I found that Wise Pro has just released their own auto refill filament buffer thing, which is pretty cool. So I've ordered one and I'll be making a video on whether or not it even works in the coming weeks. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.